Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In this tonight's video, somebody on Facebook emailed me how to how I would set up a name tag uh, deal to engrave. So I thought I'd actually uh, encompass some other factors that will help you. Uh, most name tags in wood are going to be out of alder, probably that is 24 by 18, or 20. Excuse me, four by 24. So you need to set up an indexing line so you know you can get your name tags on that piece of wood. So this, this block right here with the two indexing lines um, is your variables that you can't go past. So let's say you think you're pretty close to that four, but just double check it. You can get on it and right click it twice or left, left click the mouse and see we're a little bit off. So I'm going to go point or minus four. I'm going to modify it and you could also add, you could go minus eight and you could add a line. So you don't have to, you know, move it down there. So anyway, so we've got our spot where we know our names tags could go. And an old school way would be to do this. Just take control D, move it over to it looks pretty good. Control D, control D, control D. And then you could go control D and go down. And these are pretty even. And also I think in when I'm using Corel X7 now, I think it's even, I see a center line in there. Um, it's letting me know that I'm on the center. I don't think I've ever seen that before. But what I would do to do these, let's just erase these. Let's get rid of this screen. Let's erase these. And this is what I would do. Our name tag is three inches long by one and a half inches tall. So I'm going to change my nudge factor to 1.75. I'm going to lasso it. I'm going to hit control D and move it down one. Now our name tag is three point or three inches. So I'm going to change this to 3.25 and I'm going to compass these control D and I'm going to hit the right arrow key control D and you can see we could get um, I think it's 14 name tags on this piece of wood yeah 14 now we need to change the names now there is a way if somebody sends you a file and it's less than 16 17 even maybe 25 names to be it's not worth going to and setting up a print merge unless they send it to you in an Excel spreadsheet file if they just typed it out on the email or handed it to you on a scrap piece of paper what I like doing is going through and making this copy and then typing out the names you know using the control D key making a duplicate of that name just go down, change it to Dave Barry. Control D, and then you just change it to the next name. So, but we want the name tags to look good. This Bill Green is in the center of this name tag. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick on Bill Green here. And you can see the X. I'm going to get an index line and move it over to that X. Now I could, I would maybe take a little bit more time, change my nudge factor back to 0 0.001, go back to Bill and I'm close and just maybe cursor over two. Go back, cursor over two. Now you're close. Now take your another indexing line and put it at the bottom of Bill Green's name. Now let's take this. We know we're 3.25 off each one. So let's go three, which we'll change our nudge back to 3.25. Now let's make a duplicate of that. Control D and move it over. Control D, control D. Now you've got crosshairs in all of your deals. So we want Bill Green, but we don't want Bill Green on the next one. We want David Becker. Now we need to move our nudge factor back to 0.001. Zoom in here. 
Now, really good corral professionals will probably think this isn't the best way to do it. They're going to use uh, print merge. But I've never found it to be useful unless you were just doing a lot, a lot of names. If you're just doing a few names, to me, this is just as easy. You get rid of Bill Green, bring in Dave Lombardi. And this way you've got your... Uh, so we need to move up a little bit. So not only now do your name tags, and I'm not going to take the time to do this and uh, waste your time. But let's say we've got these name tags and all the names are really, really close to be on the same line. Now, this is where it's going to, and these are for sure. This Texas engraving, which is I just made up. All these names are on the same exact plane. So when you're like, and I, I engrave almost, well, I engrave everything with bottom up engraving. So let's just forget about this row for a second here. And let's just concentrate on, let's just say that we got the top row. It's going to start on Bill Green and it's going to start on David and Doug and Lombardi all at the same time. If one of these names was just a little bit off, it's going to have to go back and finish. It won't, st well, on Doug it will because it's got it hanging below. It'll actually start right there. But when it's through, it's actually going to have to go and cursor over here. So if, if, if a couple of these names were off, the laser is going to have to move more to get them off because it's going to start here and, and go until it gets there and then get that one and then finally go all the way across. And on the company name, they're for sure in the right spot. It's going to hit all these P's and it might just be a little bit of time, but when you're standing there watching the laser, anything's faster is better. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.